Hello. It's recording this with my iPhone 6s. <laughs> it's trying to see. It's kind of wobbling right now because the table's wobbling and the iPhone on a little tripod thing. The wobbles. But um, I saw one of the uh, other YouTubers I watch uh, do a little video about um, their experience in college and thought, hey. Why not give a native perspective or an impact perspective on going to college? I went to the University of Alaska Fairbanks for over 12 years, uh, on and off, not, not not the whole time. I didn't go to college, well, consecutively for 12 years. I went to uh, UAF, University of Alaska Fairbanks. From when I graduated high school in 1996 until uh, 2001, when I graduated with my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree, I have a, a general associate's degree. You kind of used to be able to get them when you complete your um, core classes. Um, there's core classes that you have to complete in order to graduate with any degree from the University of Alaska Fairbanks, as, manda uh, as um, mandated, I guess, by the Western Student Exchange, or, or that university code, I can't think of that, I'm not that far into the university life, but, um, yep, I graduated, um, I have a bachelor's degree in rural development with minor in business. I um, was a part of a Native American business leaders at the university, as well as the New Yupik Dance Group, which is a, a Native dance group, um, mostly composed of North Slope, Northwest, and Yupik Eskimos. They're different populations, but we just try to remember like our our traditional dances. So, did that for a few years. Um, worked in Barrow for two years. Then, when I was working for the North Slope Borough School District, I kind of wanted to be a principal um, because I was I was doing uh, migrant education grant work. So, I went. Um, I said I was just talking with the principals there at uh, the North Slope Borough because I traveled to every village on the North Slope, um, all eight of them. Um, got to meet with their principals or sometimes they have assistant principals depending on how big their school is like Point Hope has assistant principal or did when I was working for the uh, North Slope Borough School District. They had a lot of money um, and, and Usually the school is the largest facility, uh, no matter which community you go to. Um, there's money in education, because uh, our kids need to learn. And uh, so I decided to um, go back to the university. At first I didn't go to, directly to Fairbanks again, I went to Oh, there I go again. <laughs> the table's wobbly. Um, I went to uh, Anchorage and uh, attended uh, University of Alaska Anchorage for a year and a half. I bought a condo, lived in it for a year and a half, and um, Decided to move to Fairbanks again. Uh, got a job there. Since I was working for the university in Fairbanks, I decided to get, you know, another bachelor's degree because um, education, um, tuition, the tuition waiver was still in effect when you were a University of Alaska employee. So I got my second bachelor's degree in Alaska Native Studies because um, 
I had a lot of classes already from, I also went to Elizabeth College when I lived in Barrow. Um, so, I got my second bachelor's in Alaska Native Studies with a minor in rural development and uh, had a job offer uh, from Ellis Abbott College to work for them so they paid my way I mean bought my ticket and bought uh, all my stuff um, to move up to Barrow I mean everything they packed paid me $5,000 for moving expenses, so that was very nice of them. So I was indebted to them for a year. Um, so I worked for them for a year, and I was working for them. I got to know the uh, health directors uh, a little bit, because when I was working for Ellis I was traveling to the village, and um, got talking with some some of the people that said hey you should work for the borough and I never worked for the borough before so I just said sure why not I have a bachelor's degree and I could pass a criminal background check so I went to work for the North Slope Borough Health Department as the uh, senior programs director um, and I worked there for about six months and then got me was um, the director said I did not have to attend the assembly meeting but the assembly members said why isn't your senior programs director here and she says I have no idea and then um, she's the one that told me that I don't need to attend the assembly meetings only directors do and I was only a program director, so I directed a small program. And I did not know I had to attend an assembly meeting, um, a North Slope Borough assembly meeting. As a program director, I would have attended if that, if that was a request of me, but like I said, I asked her, she said no. So I got let go from that position so I was thrown under the bus, so to say. But um, then I worked for ICAST, uh, Independent Community of the Arctic Slope, and it was interesting. It was kind of too loosey goosey for me, and I was doing um, uh, I was doing uh, equa cases, Indian child welfare cases. So that part, I saw the bad parts of our culture. Um, it really made me get gray hairs, <laughs> full of gray hairs now. Uh, some of the stuff I heard, I just, um, I am not a social worker. So I, I praise them for all this psychological, psychological stuff they had to go through. Um, it made me cry some of the stuff like I listened to um, I can't talk about them because uh, some of the cases are still going on the kids are almost graduating um, but it's so sad um, it's tearing all the stuff our kids went through that had to go into the system there's that's a small portion of our children in Alaska, but um, just seeing that, uh, seeing, hearing, and appearing on behalf of each one of the tribes kind of made me want to get out of there. So I decided to um, seek employment elsewhere. I worked for um, my village corporation after that, um, the Tabak Nupak Corporation. I was a executive sec secretary. Um, 
it was interesting that I didn't run, really want to be a secretary. <laughs> um, I was a secretary for um, somebody that uh, didn't have the education that I had. And um, they were just a board member. So I was like, well, I was talking to one of the subsidiary companies, um, uh, what do they call them, general managers, and I decided to work for him because he was in UPAP too. He had a college education, he had a um, engineering degree. A few Inubaks have engineering degrees. So that was, that was cool. So I worked for him for a year and a half and then we weren't quite sure if we are going to get a federal government contract again, the one I was working on. So I was kind of worried. So I decided to get a job back um, let's see, do I have to go to Anchorage or here? I think I went to Fairbanks again. Worked and um, while I was working for Jerry Regional Housing Authority, I um, no, I went to Anchorage and I was a general manager for Cully Corporation, a uh, small village corporation. They just lost their 8A contracting. Um, they what they call graduated. I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> until I was a general manager of the company. Um, things I didn't learn at UIC, but um, I should have done more of my research on the company, on their contracts. I should have asked more questions. This is something I, I learned um, after the fact. Um, I was offered the opportunity recently to be the general manager of uh, Nunamit Corporation and some some of those questions I asked for the Nunamit Corporation I learned from my experience of running um, the Kali Corporation of, and Nunamit has more village based projects more than uh, Kali Corporation did. Kali Corporation didn't have any projects going on in the community um, they're not, uh, Cali corporations are way out in the northwestern part of the state. Um, uh, sorry, it's gonna email me. It'll work. Sorry, I was reading work email. Um, so, while well, I was, um, so the Cully Corporation, they didn't have a good, they didn't have anybody left that could do contracts, um, meaning like physical contract work. <laughs> Um, so, I, was, I decided to move back with my parents and got a job with uh, Interior Regional Housing Authority in Fairbanks. I stayed there for six years. While I was doing that, I got an associate's degree in um, business. Because telling people that I knew business without having a degree in business, in my mind, even though it's an associate's degree, I just felt that that would add to my resume. Um, so I got that, graduated with a 3.2 GPA. Um, learning numbers again, um, learning the math was very interesting. Um, 
I'm also trying to um, get my master's degree. I went to um, what's it called? Wheeling Baptist University. Went there. Um, I didn't. I didn't like the way they they did their classes. They're all online or um, one or two. Uh, Wayland Baptist University is more geared to uh, soldiers, um, people that have been in the armed forces for many years that are high ranking officers. Um, that's a way for them to get their bachelor's and master's degrees, um, which is more power to them, but um, the most of the professors were also um, people of that same culture and them referencing um, like boot camp and some things the military does I could not relate to because I was not part of that in any of my backgrounds um, so I was like this is not the university for me so I walked away from that um, I'm working for a nonprofit native organization that that does run a um, one of their components is a university which I plan to attend in the future um, they do give uh, tuition discounts to Alaska natives so I plan on giving my master's degree in business um, after I work for them for a year <laughs> um, I'm currently in Anchorage I really appreciate the uh, the university system in Alaska I experienced it at here in Anchorage at the University of Alaska Anchorage University of Alaska Fairbanks, which is the home base of the University of Alaska system. And also, I appreciate tribal colleges such as Ilosavik. I attended Ilosavik for um, four years, or no, three years. I, I have a certificate in NUPAC. It's been a long time since I've been a I have spoken in the back, so I'm a little rusty. I can read most of it. Um, I can understand com conversations more than I can speak it. So, because my mom speaks in the back fluently, and um, I was raised in the Presbyterian Church. Um, my mom did this inspirations a lot, and um, I know most of the songs by heart. Um, not just by reading them, but just listening to them. And then listening to the Bible spoken in the back, I understand most of it. Um, but that's my experience. This is almost 20 minutes long. <laughs> See if I can get it uploaded. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.